Oh, there you see it. Everybody gather it together as the ceremony came to a climactic conclusion today. You know, seeing the Jackson family unite on stage and sing together, it was really a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. Really down to the last song, the last prayer, everything perfect. We're back talking about highlights of today's memorial. Furpo Carr, uh, we talked about the big elephant in the room and the fact that uh, there were veiled references to the criminal case against Michael Jackson. The one thing nobody talked about whatsoever, as far as I could tell, was how he died and his reported drug addiction. Yes, there's a lot uh, that was said about that outside in the media, but there was no reference to that because you want to keep one thing in mind here, and that is this. Michael Jackson was not taking recreational drugs. You never heard about cocaine or heroin or anything like that. He took things for an ailment he and his family had, namely, in one case, at least, insomnia. The whole family has that. I've stayed up with... Randy, when I lived with him, and get this, it's so interesting, he's half asleep, nodding and what have you, trying to change channel surfing. He turns to me, asks me a question. Apparently, I wasn't speaking loudly enough, so guess what he did? Pointed the remote at me and pumped up the volume without realizing what he was doing. And we both laughed at it afterward. The whole family are insomniacs. I have stayed up all night, practically, with several members of the family, uh, talking because they couldn't sleep. So Michael took something for that. He was not taking drugs for recreational use. And I'd like to say this one other thing. I would love to have seen a line of celebrities there when Michael needed them most when he was being charged. Well, that's exactly what Nancy Grace said, or she was talking about when he was trying to break his addiction. You're saying you would have liked to have seen a, a line of celebrities when? When he was, uh, both trial, well, the trial, the last trial in two, 2005. The when I was trial. out there. Uh, what, the Santa Maria, Santa Maria trial is what I'm saying. When I was out there as his family spokesman, I mean, I put my reputation on the line, my life on the line, as it were. If Michael Jackson had been found guilty, trust me, I would be on your show for a different reason. Here's the guy who backed him up. Well, well, you know? Jim Array, let me jump in here. There were plenty of celebrities on uh, Tom Mesereau's list of witnesses for the defense. Yeah, there were, but I mean, your point actually is also a good one. Where were a lot of his friends when he needed help? He clearly, they, they didn't talk about it today because he, as Furpo said, look, he may have had an illness, may very had, had a very serious illness, an, an addiction. We still don't know what killed Michael Jackson. I think that not talking about that today was perfectly appropriate. They were there to celebrate Michael Jackson, the man. I have to say, Jane, after listening to you also for a week, this this clearly touched you. I can tell a difference in your tone and, and the way that you're approaching the story, even if it's only for the day, and that's fine. But this what clearly moved you. What are you saying, Jim? You. Spit it out. I'm saying <laughs> out. that you're sensitive. He's saying that you're uh, sensitive. That's all. I've I'm saying you're people. sensitive. I've always <laughs> been sensitive. Usually I'm dealing with a, a lot of serious criminals, and uh, I think we need to... Uh, it doesn't also dovetail with the idea that he is a child. I mean, how many people said that even today, that, oh, he had the child persona. Uh, even though he was a uh, dynamo on stage, he was shy and childlike off stage. Is, does that... Does that segue with being a good parent? Yes, you know, Jane, yes. there are people who have role reversals with their parents, and they are, as someone pointed out earlier, protective of their parent because they feel like the parent. It doesn't mean that they don't feel loving. In fact, sometimes it makes them have to be very independent and self-sufficient. Um, and Might maybe I also jump in and, and just mention that I cover plenty of trials and cases where the parent who is in court perpetrates crimes against others and not against his or her own family. Absolutely and possible. And, of course, I'll just jump in at that point and say, he didn't perpetrate a crime against anyone, according to the jury's verdict Thank and you. the Constitution of the United States. Right. Uh, that case, believe me when I tell you, uh, and I don't know if Diane's still with us, that case was a joke from the get-go. It was. Uh, it was one of the most incredible allegations. Well, and, that, you and, know, the jury spoke that loud and clear. The courtroom. Right. And I will also say as a legal no. journalist that being called not guilty is not the same as being called innocent. No, right, no, it's Diane, not. But, that, but you can't then presume case. guilt when somebody's jury kidding, has spoken. Yes. Diane, yeah. what do you call it? What, what do, you, do you call it then? Okay, but, but here's the thing. I think it's hard the, to hear you, Jane. 
Uh, I'm just asking you, what about, forget the criminal trial for which he was acquitted for a second, let's go back to the 93 case. Yeah, but so what? The 93 case had more holes in it than the, the 2005 case, which Thank was you. a joke. The 93 case, if it was a case, don't you think Tom Sneddon or his uh, his associates would have brought a case in two seconds? Well, that wasn't even I, worthy let's of give being Diane a chance to answer. Did you want me to answer or did you want him to answer? Diane, I can't get a word in as Diane, jump in. You're aggressive. You know... I, I, you know, I, I look, can I just tell you something? I'm standing outside the Staples Center. I was in there all day today, listening to some of the most beautiful music, the most wonderful eulogies, and that's really what I think today is all about. I, you, you know, I if you want to know more, hey, Furpa, let me talk for and, once, and okay? Who's that? Who's just that? let me get that? a damn hey. word in edgewise. Uh, 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 you, if you want to know you about will. the allegations, while, read will. my book. Today no, it was no. about Diane, the passing of an icon and the fans that... You've always been against him. Let me say this about this. I worked for for years. All right, wait a second. I don't know why I'm on the show today. All right, hold on. I got to... You know what? Judge Karen gave me this. I'm trying to say something nice here, you know? Because we, it's, it's, I understand that this is a touchy day to be having a debate over this, but it's always every day here on HLN and in the news business is a day that we talk about reality, unfortunately or fortunately. If I could talk, I'd talk about All right, well, it, but I can't hey, get a word in Well, let me, let's well, you just... plug your book. You got it in. I'd love to say something. Yeah, you already said. You All said right, plug look. in your book. Let me just say something right here. I worked for LAPD for 10 years, you and know Michael what, Jackson... Jane, and Michael we Jackson talk to Furbo, so and I'll talk to you again. when I get back to New York. What was How so very that? interesting about this... You know For what? ten years, I saw I saw Michael Jackson first of all, 1994, be accused of child molestation. 2004 is are they gone? No, I'm after. listening. Okay, right 2004, child molestation again. Now, are you telling? Are you trying to tell me, Diane Diamond, that here's a child molester who strikes once every ten years? Only in the L.A. area. I mean, by that token, My, we, listen, we, all we have to do is wait for 2014. Okay, guess what? Furpo, Furpo, wait a second. Guys, seriously. Diane has wanted to say something. Let's give her a chance to respond. You said your part. Let's her, and then we'll move on. Diane, okay. get I, your 10, 20 I, I've seconds said, in. I've, I've said my part. Today was about saying goodbye to an icon. It was very emotional in there, especially when the Jacksons themselves spoke and sang, especially Paris Catherine. That's what today is all about. You, Jane, you and I have covered the trials. We have done the allegations. I'll be glad to talk to you about that at another time. And if Furpo wants to argue, he can argue with you because I'm just not interested in that. Right. That's well, not I, I think what that, today you know is what? all about. I think about. today is a day not to argue. I think it, today is a day I know, but to, exactly. to try to remember yeah, the no best. No buts, for but also, let her, You know what? I guess who talking. I think is the voice of reason right now, Jim Murray. Jim Murray. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. I'm going uh, to give it to I you. All I want to say is, <laughs> very quickly, it, what we're talking about. Is this the Furpo card? We don't even need to. No, this is Jim Murray. Jane, it's Jim. I mean, okay. 